How's it going everybody? Welcome to the Liberty Bowl. Today is Friday, May 27th, 2022. Today we're going to be talking about the, the all the shootings going on. You know, there's fucking, there's white supremacist shootings, there's fucking school shootings, there's fucking, you know, black supremacist shootings, there's fucking, there's shootings everywhere. Who, who, who could have seen this coming? You know, who, who could have possibly predicted this? Like, is, is there like someone out there that, that's monitoring these people or something? Like, I don't know. It's, it's just, it's all really absurd. Is it really now, though? Well, we're gonna go into a, an article from about two years ago. We're gonna actually not man, four years ago, four fucking years ago. God damn, dude, I'm stoned. I gotta get with the time. I'm thinking it's over here, 2020. So four years ago. Yeah, we're gonna be hitting the time machine, man. But before we get into that, let's get into this. Find in a single word. I was gonna put him in a uh, foot, foot. We're losing our democracy! More inflation. What a stupid son of a bitch. Wake up! Before we get into that, let's get in. Okay, so we all know about, you know, the, the school shootings and stuff like that, you know, the, the, the white supremacist shootings as well, you know, we all know about, you know, the, the bus, the subway shootings, you know, the, the black supremacist shootings, we all know about all this stuff, right? So, I want to, to bring to your attention something that um, I uh, just happened to stumble across just a little bit ago, and it, it does kind of, um, you know, show some, some interesting stuff. So this is from the FBI's website, FBI.gov. Then this is from October 5th, 2018. So, hoax threats. Think before you post. Hoax threats are serious federal crimes. In the aftermath of tragic shootings such as the ones at Santa Fe High School in Texas and Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Florida, there is often an increase in hoax threats to schools and other public places. Safety is paramount and the FBI and other state and local law enforcement partners always respond to each threat. They always respond to each threat. Oh, should we do something? Just let him settle this. Oh, no, my trip! I guess that settles it. Even, even if it's even if it's not real, even if it's just a hoax online, they always respond to them. Every every single time that anyone ever posts about like, man, I'm so pissed off, just want to shoot someone at school, they always note all of them. In recent months, the FBI and law enforcement around the country have investigated a number of hoax threats of targeted violence against schools and other public places. These threats, often issued via text message or posted on social media, are taken very seriously. Hoax threats are not a joke, and they can have devastating consequences both for the public and for the perpetrators. You sure you want to do this, man? You're drunk. I'm drunk. You're drunk. Everybody's drunk! So that's pretty getting pretty interesting, right? So and remember, keep in mind this this is from from 2018. This is a, an article from 2018. All right, so the, they've they've been monitoring. Okay, they've they've been monitoring, issuing a threat even over social media via text message or through emails is a federal crime, threatening interstate communications. Those who post or send threats, these threats can receive up to five years in prison or they can face state or local charges or we can just look the other way and kind of let this play out what have i done what have i done uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. what have i done again who knows maybe it might help forward a political agenda you never know with the thoughtless remark on social media, young people risk starting out their adult lives in prison and forever being labeled a felon or a sleeper cell. 
The Bureau and its law enforcement partners take each threat seriously. We investigate and fully analyze each threat to determine its credibility. I think that's a, a, a typo. I don't think that's, that's supposed to mean credibility. I think they mean capability. What have I done some more? What have I continued to do? Yeah, what, what can we gain if this person goes through with this? Because like, like they said, they monitor every single one of them and they take all of them very seriously. Gee. Hoax threats disrupt school, waste limited law enforcement resources, and put first responders in an unnecessary danger. We also don't want to see a young person start out adulthood with a felony record or an impulsive, uh, over an impulsive social media post. It's not a joke. Always think before you post. Always. Always. Yeah, matter of fact, I'm thinking about posting this right now. I'm probably going to get labeled a fucking terrorist or fucking right-wing conspiracy theorist. Guarantee you once I post this video. In addition to consequences for addition for individuals who issue threats, there is also a significant societal cost. Law enforcement agencies have limited resources and responding to hoax threats diverts officers and cost taxpayers. The threats can also cause severe emotional distress to students, school personnel, and parents. Here are a few examples of serious threats that the FBI and other part and our partners have investigated, but apparently did not find much, you know use that we could get out of these so two young men in Kentucky created a social media account in someone else's name and used it to make threats against a public school see these people are posting in their own name they're posting on their own accounts they're posting on multiple social media accounts in their own name that they, they conveniently happen to post manifestos online of what they plan to do but apparently the FBI doesn't see those as serious threats those are not serious threats yeah, bullshit. They want them to play out. They want them to. It's it's fucking furthering a political agenda. It's it's you know, fucking never let a tragedy go to waste. That's the old fucking Democrat fucking you know mantra. Let's see another one. A young man in Texas used social media and a phone to issue threats against schools in Minnesota. See, he issued threats against schools in Minnesota. This motherfucker issued threats against his fucking school down the street. Okay. He also called in fake hostage situations known as swatting. He was arrested, pled guilty, and was sentenced to more than three years in federal prison. He was 19 at the time of sentencing. A 21-year-old South Carolina man was sentenced to one year in federal prison after he sent a text message claiming there was a bomb in the parking lot of a Veteran Affairs Medical Center in the state. An 18-year-old in North Carolina man was sentenced to 22 months in federal prison and was ordered to pay restitution after he broadcast himself on the internet calling in bomb threats to various public places including schools, colleges, and FBI offices. See, there's, there's no fucking use in that. He, that guy is just playing around. He is, like, if they want to catch the people that are playing, they, they want to monitor the ones that aren't. Okay, they, they want to fucking bust the people that are just, you know, oh, 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 you know, blah, 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 blah. They want to catch those people. So they can make a point that see, see, you know, we're, we're keeping you guys protected. You know, we're monitoring this. But then again, as you see, almost once a week, <laughs> someone posts a manifesto online. And then a couple weeks later, they fucking go and shoot up a place. And, you know, the FBI, we had no clue. Hmm. But check out all these social media posts that we just happen to find right now on every single social media account that he's ever had. That's crazy. But we, we had no clue that, that this was going to happen. We are totally you know, in awe right now. How could we have ever known? Guys, guys, we're in some real trouble here. Ah, uh, what do you mean we? I don't want to play the blame game, but you're the one who hit him. No, 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 no. There's two of you and there's one of me. I mean, you could have stopped me. We didn't know you were going to kill him. You calling me a murderer? How could we have ever known? I don't know. Like I said, I'm probably going to get labeled a fucking right-wing conspiracy theorist. I'm probably going to get labeled a fucking, you know, I don't know, a fucking... You know, Alex Jones fucking Sandy Hook denier, but like it's like it's, it, 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 they monitor you. They know who could have foreseen this coming. The FBI could have. The FBI could have because they've been monitoring this for years. That's does is that not fishy to anybody? Does that not seem weird? Like, am I am I tripping? Is that is that not ringing any anyone's bells right now?
Is this making sense? Anybody tell me in the comments, you guys. I mean, send the fuck out of this shit. Spread it. Spread it. Spread it like wildfire. Spread it like COVID. Let's get this shit everywhere, you guys. All right? I mean, just, you know, fuck it. Either way, fucking, even if, you know, you don't believe, fuck it. Coming out, smoke some weed with me, you know? Fucking, let's talk some conspiracy shit, man. Matter of fact, fuck it. I'll do a second bomb work with you guys today. Let's do this shit, man, because this, this is some mind-blowing shit, man. Like I say, you got to get stoned as fuck to read the news these days. Good Lord Jesus, you guys. Well, that's about it for today. You guys uh, take care. You know, look out for each other. You know. America first. Um, got the the <coughs> the <coughs> midterms coming up. <coughs> Get out there, register to vote, everybody. <coughs> Research your candidates. Do not just vote for anybody that has an R next to their name. <coughs> Research your candidates. Do not I mean, do not just vote for someone because Trump endorsed them. Research your candidates. Okay, people. I'm actually gonna be. That's probably gonna be my next video. I'm probably gonna be showing you guys how to use Ballotpedia. All right, that's probably gonna be my next video. But either way, uh, <coughs> um, yeah, take it easy, keep it real, fuck off. Hey, look at me, man. I look like I could be Fox News' Brian Stelter, aka the warmongering establishment stack well Republican known as Sean Hannity. Subscribe to our YouTube page, or better yet, find us on Rumble to get more fat bowls, fucking good news, bad news fucking crazy opinions and good times. Fuck off.